Well, Montana's 2020 general election campaigns are now underway, and of course, that means you'll be seeing plenty of campaign ads from now until November. As part of MTN's political coverage, we will be fact-checking some of these ad spots. Well, today, Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison drills down on an ad from Republican gubernatorial candidate Greg Gianforte. Gianforte and Democrat Mike Cooney became their party's respective nominees for governor last Tuesday. And within a day, Gianforte had an ad up going after Cooney. No wonder Mike Cooney opposes term limits. He's a career politician and a government bureaucrat who has never had a real job. It's true that Cooney, the current lieutenant governor, did oppose term limits, which have been in place in Montana since 1993. He's also spent most of his adult life working for government as the elected Montana Secretary of State from 1989 to 2000, as an aide to former U.S. Senator Max Baucus, and more recently as Lieutenant Governor and a division chief in the State Labor Department. But he did work outside government for five years as head of Montana Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies, a nonprofit advocating for health care programs that help children. We also asked Gianforte's campaign if they're saying anyone who works for the government doesn't have a real job. They said no, and that government employees work hard each day serving Montanans. The ad also dings Cooney for supporting an increase in the state gas tax and vehicle registration fees. It's talking about increases improved by the legislature in 2017 and supported by the Bullock administration, which Cooney is part of. The gas tax increase started out at four and a half cents a gallon, reached five cents this year, and goes up to six cents by 2023. It's raising about $31 million this year for highway and street repairs in Montana, including $20 million for local government projects. And it also brings in an additional $80 million or so in federal highway funds to Montana. The vehicle registration fee increase was 3%, which is helping fund the state motor vehicle division. So most of this ad's claims are true. It also lays out what will be a consistent theme and line of attack from Gianforte's campaign. The Cooney is a government bureaucrat well, Gianforte is the experienced businessman. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Mike. Now, Gianforte started a successful software development firm in Bozeman and has been Montana's congressman since 2017. Cooney says it's clear that Gianforte plans a negative campaign and that he's proud of the accomplishments of the Bullock administration, such as expanding health coverage for Montanans.